What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, just bought this uh, cordless tree trimmer, and uh, as I unbox it here, I'll tell you kind of my rationale behind getting it. One, I need to obviously trim some trees, but uh, I wanted to get something that was uh, decently reliable but as cheap as possible. Looks like it comes with an Allen key here and a flathead screwdriver. And on top of that, I looked at a couple products that I own other products in the same brand line, like Sun Joe and Black and & Decker. And so what you can see here is obviously I got Black & Decker. And the reason I did that was it also seemed to be the bottle that ran on the battery packs that I already have. Now the thing does telescope out to up to 10 feet, I believe. Looks like we've got the saw on this end. Pretty nice. Looks like it's about uh, 9, 10 inches long here does come with a little cover to uh, cover up that blade and then what I noticed on this end and what I wasn't really sure in the pictures is that um, looks like we can remove the chain here but I wasn't sure if there's a place to put in bar and chain oil and it doesn't look like there is to me there is a stop right here so that you can kind of butt it up against a branch as you're cutting it, it looks like the motor and uh, the housing is right here and there's a little dotted line here so that you know where the the chain is in terms of lined up well, we've got this it's like a polyester shaft it almost feels like carbon fiber obviously it's to keep the weight down there is a little bit of weight on this and especially when you're holding it out 10 feet above you you're gonna need uh you're gonna need it to be kind of light now it looks like there's connectors from one end to the others because the motor is up there, but the battery is obviously going to be down by your hand. So I think we just connect them just like this. Nice big sleeve here to tighten it together. All right, there's one. And then we've got the bottom portion with another screw attachment here. There's kind of a, a foam grip right here yourself a little bit of leverage on the thing and then we have the handle down here which kind of looks like the standard black and decker material and color and shape and plastic and then that standard battery that i have for my cordless blower and cordless drill will fit in here hopefully well, it looks like we have a wire tie here on the trigger zip tie off and so what you'll have to do here the security is that you pull back on this trigger and then you can pull up this trigger it's a safety you can't pull this up without pulling this back too so two pieces of engagement 20 volt battery right there all right let's get this thing finished setting up now i will say uh it looks like you could just remove this middle section and attach the lower portion to the upper portion to have a smaller trimmer but i've got it set up here for the 10 foot version and Let's see here if we can get it working. I've got the battery in. It seems to work. Let's cut something. So let's see if we can trim some bigger branches and some smaller branches. All right guys, so hopefully you can see that. That's pretty awesome. Um, actually, what I cut was two branches that were about an inch thick, and then one that was about two inches thick, and it made pretty short work of it. So, uh, pretty impressed with this Black & Decker uh, cordless trimmer, man. This thing rocks. I love it. And it was pretty inexpensive. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda out.